real estate investing in 2023. Here are four reasons why you should be investing in real estate in 2023. Let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Raul Balufe. I'm a real estate investor here in Florida. We wholesale properties, we buy fix and flips, we do rentals, and our channel is meant for you to learn how to do the same. So Freddie Mac currently states that there is a housing shortage of about 3.2 million houses, which means that the demand is there's 3.2 million people who are who want to and are ready to buy houses, but the houses don't exist. They're not there. So this is one reason why, although the interest rates are going high, although things are going crazy in the media, although all these things are collapsing or whatever people are saying, it's still a very good time to be invested, to be in real estate investing. There is nothing that can fix a shortage other than being in the game and housing and realtors have to make money, brokers have to make money, wholesalers have to make money, fix and flippers, developers, all of these people do this for a living. And in the housing shortage, this is a really good time for you to get involved. This is a really good way to get some piece of the pie for that shortage. Also, number two in real estate is where most millionaires are created. And I'm going to share with you exactly why there's one word that creates these millionaires and that word is equity so when you buy a two hundred thousand dollar piece of property uh an apartment a condo a townhouse a, a single family home a duplex or whatever when you buy this 200 250 thousand dollar piece of property and you hold it for enough time even through a recession if you hold it for enough time typically seven to ten years your equity grows exponentially so you buy for 250 let's say you get a loan for 200 so you put 50,000 down so now you owe 200 that property is worth 250 today maybe in a recession it goes down to 160 but then once you come out of the recession and wait three four or five years now that property is going back and it's worth 350 to 450 thousand dollars and all that time your mortgage is being paid down and down and down so you owe you owed 200 when you started but now you owe 100 and it's worth 450 so now your equity grew and now it's the net value is three hundred fifty thousand dollars. so this is why so many millionaires are made with just three or four of those houses you can get become a millionaire status on paper with equity which is crazy another reason is that there's going to be less competition i'll tell you why so there's a lot of people who start and don't continue because there is money that's needed to be in real estate. Whether you're investing, whether you're an agent, whether you're a wholesaler, you have to invest money in marketing. You have to invest money in you, in social media, in all these types of things. And eventually when the market gets hard and it's really hard to get a listing or get a wholesale deal, now it's time to go back to a job. Now it's time to pay my bills. So I got to go get a part-time job or I got to go back and get a full-time job. And that's okay. That's normal. But what that means for you is that if you're one of the few that want to stick it out or really have passion in real estate, you can get in the game while people are getting out of the game, which means that once you get in and things go back up, there's going to be a lot more market share to take. There's a really good book called Shift by Gary Keller. He wrote it back in 2000 and eight I want, I want to say which is when that recession was happening and those are one of the things he talks about is that the agents the realtors the people who stay in the game when the times are tough it's tough you're not going to make much more but then once you get that market share and things go back up you own more of that market share and now you can double triple quadruple your income also people stop spending money on marketing which is crazy but it's tough you know i understand when things get challenging and it's still a good time in 2023 I think that um, marketing is going to get, I think the cost per lead, I think leads will be cheaper, meaning marketing will be cheaper, I meaning it'll be easier to get leads because less and less people will be doing it. However, it will be a harder business, but it will be easier to get leads and some people start marketing altogether and a lot of companies feel that and then they give discounts to the next person who wants to spend more money on marketing. Also, there's some opportunities in a shifting market. So when I started in real estate, the first thing I did that I learned how to do was make offers on the multiple listing service on the MLS. Why? Because there's a lot of foreclosures and short sales that were coming up because people couldn't afford their house. So the banks were taking over and people were doing short sales in order to pay off the loan because they owed more than the house was worth. What that means for you is that how I started back in 2012, 2013 is going to come around again. When there's more foreclosures, more short sales, you can jump on the multiple listing service on the MLS. Or if you're a realtor, you can jump on there and there's going to be tons of opportunity late 2023 for that. 
Also, if you have cash or access to cash, or maybe you're a flipper, or maybe you want to get into flipping and, and you know, you have some money, foreclosure auctions are going to be a huge opportunity in 2023 because as more foreclosures come, banks don't always list their properties for sale with REO agents or real estate agents. Banks sometimes auction them. And the more properties that get foreclosed on, the more that will go to the auction, which means there's more available for you to buy and make a profit off of. And last but not least, I believe that there's still a massive opportunity in wholesaling. If you can mass the art of finding a good deal, there will always be buyers looking to buy and there is always going to be sellers looking to sell. And there's always going to be you looking for your next rental. So if you can master that deal, if you can master the art of finding that deal, that is a huge game changer. So thank you guys for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe, follow uh, my channel. You can also follow me on TikTok or Instagram if you want to get some more content. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.